If you want to make your sprites stretch and scale like this, then you should be using nine slices. There's lots of uses for them. Here's how I use them in Game Maker. A nine slice sprite is one that you divide into nine sections. When you do, the sprite can stretch to different sizes while maintaining the shape of the outside edges. This is great for UI and usually how they're used. Dialog boxes, inventories, that kind of thing. The corners will stay unstretched, but you could choose to set the intersections to stretch or repeat. This lets us do interesting things. Here I've set the top to stretch and the bottom to repeat. Notice how it looks when I change the size of the sprite. If I need this sprite to be 500 pixels tall, I can 9 slice it along the shaft of the arrow, then just stretch it. This saves my texture page for something more important. You might have to adjust the section borders a bit to get the desired result. And you can also scale the sprite or object in the room editor too. You'll see the effect. Here, I use the sprite to define the minimum and maximum bounds of the spiky ball. It's great to have visual representation of this in the room editor. This is my absolute favorite way of building levels. I don't get stressed out thinking about large, complicated buildings. I think of structures and small modular pieces that can be scaled and reused. It feels like playing with blocks or with Lego. You can assign the sprites to an object, of course, and the 9 slice sprite will still do its magic when you change the scale using image x scale or image y scale. A 9 slice sprite can also be drawn with different sizes with draw sprite stretched or draw sprite ext. Thanks for watching and sticking around to the end of this video. If you want to watch another one that I think you'll like, click here. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos of mine, hit the subscribe button.